Hey YouTube, Sergeant Savinelli. So first things first, it's Sunday, September 9th, and it's 50 degrees. I should not be freezing my tail feathers off on September 9th. Look, I, I got one of these things on. Look, 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 look. <sighs> anyway. How have y'all been? It's been a while. Anybody smoke this stuff? Anybody out there? Ewan Reese. I guess that's how you call it, you pronounce it, right? Ewan Reese and Company. Reese Three Star Blue, pipe tobacco. Big warning on the front contains nicotine. No shit. Tobacco has nicotine? Oh. I uh, loaded it up in my Savinelli saxophone. My Lucite Roma. So, I've been smoking this stuff nonstop for two days now. Uh, the reason I even have it is because I was watching Eric, the blue collar pipe smoker, and he has been smoking it, raving about it. Raving. So I figure, what the hell? So I jump on my favorite online tobacco shop there. And. I, and that's uh, smokingpipes.com, by the way. Um, and I went ahead and ordered some. Now, I had two choices. I could either get it in the tub or a pouch. Well, if there's a tub option, I'm going for the tub. I don't do pouches unless I got no choice. Mostly everything comes in a tub, so some stuff doesn't. So I went ahead and I ordered the tub because of Eric, the blue collar pipe smoker. Hi, Eric, by the way. And I popped this stuff open the second I, it showed up because listening to him yammer on and on and on about how good it is and, oh, my God, it's this and it's that and it's the other and it's three times that. The second it walked in the door from the postman... I had to spring the thing open to see what all this hoopla was all about. Well, as it turns out, my dear friend Eric hit the nail right on the head. This stuff is really, really tasty. I'm going to read off what it says on the back for you. It says, our original world famous blend, toasted burley. Did you hear that? Toasted burley. You don't hear that too often. I'm going to tell you a little something about that. Toasted Burley and Bright Virginia Flake with just a touch of Black Cavendish, Perique, and Latakia. Topped with Reese's one-of-a-kind aroma. Now, Eric and I went round and round about this one-of-a-kind aroma. He says he couldn't put his finger on it. After about 20 minutes and about half a pipe down I'm convinced that the aroma is a mix of anise and vanilla if anybody else cares to pipe in about uh, the one-of-a-kind aroma Reese's one-of-a-kind aroma please feel free um, I I'd put money on anise and vanilla uh, I'm very partial to those flavors um, being an Anisette drinker and a, and a Sambuca drinker myself, I can pick out the licorice. And I like black licorice too, by the way. Um, that's a love it or, or hate it taste, that Anis. Um, but I can pick those that scent out, that taste out pretty readily. Um, I can actually detect it in half and half. There is Anis in half and half, along with some type of uh, a liqueur. Um but some people think I'm crazy when I tell them there's an anisette flavor. There's that, that black licorice flavoring 
in half and half. Um, I detect it. I can pick it up. Some people can't detect licorice at all. Uh, matches, 860. Hi, John. Uh, he can't taste licorice. So, there you have it. You, you, you got no, uh, although, you know what, John? I got a guinea stinker for you. An Anazette flavored guinea stinker. That if you can't pick up the taste on that one, then you are really hopeless. We're going to have to try that try that out as a little experiment. All right. So, anyway, give me a second. Really, really like this thing. Mm. All right, so this three-star blue stuff here, it lights pretty easy. Charring light's a little, little funky, but once you tamp it and hit it again, she fires right up, no problem. Stays lit pretty good if you stay on it. If you start yapping like I'm doing, then it will go out. You'll have to relight it, no big deal. This is one of those tobaccos that I would classify as an old codger blend. Very simple. There's no complexity here, okay? You got toasted Burley, Virginia, Perique, and Latakia. The Perique and the Latakia, I dare you to taste it because it is tip absolutely condimental only in here. Um, I don't get the tongue tingle from the Perique, so I know there's very little. And the Latakia, every now and then I'll get that little tiny wisp of campfire, but not very... So it's a condiment too. Those two, those two components are condiments. The 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 vanilla on his topping is is pleasant. It's done well. Uh, I'm not a big aromatic guy, as all of you know. But this I would classify if if I really had to to push the limit a little bit would be as a light aromatic kind of trying like hell to cross over to an English-ish kind of a thing, all right? Um, certainly Old Codger, half and half, Carter Hall, Prince Albert, Captain Black, um, all, all of your top of the velvet, uh, that group. You can definitely bring this right into that family and it, and it fits right in, delicious. My recommendation with this blend, don't go looking for anything. By that I mean let it come to you. By that I mean if you're going to sit here and try to contemplate the world's problems and try to pick out bits and pieces and nuances, you're going to get left a little disappointed, I think. Um, if you are a tobacco snob, Please do not purchase or smoke this stuff because that way there's more for guys like me that actually enjoy tobacco. Um, if you have an open mind and an open palate, I think you're going to get some enjoyment out of this because this is one of those things where you can just forget about anything else and just sip your pipe. I haven't been able to get this thing to bite. This stuff doesn't... Uh, doesn't bite at all. It burns very cool. It smokes cool. Uh, I haven't been able to, to heat up my pipe with it either, you know, to the point where you can't hang on to it. Some stuff, even half and half, even velvet. If I pack vel velvet too tightly, I wouldn't be able to hold my pipe. I gotta just let it hang there. And I'm not a clencher, so I gotta be able to to touch. I'm Italian. I touch and feel and hug and kiss everybody and everything. And you know, I got to put your hands all over everything. So I got to be able to feel like to me, that's part of the, that's part of the pleasure and the experience of smoking a pipe is being able to hold your pipe, you know, hang it off the side of your mouth a little bit. Take a couple of sips. Barry Becker's going to kill me. I'm not using the uh, tamper that he made me today. 
I grabbed this thing in a hurry and uh, just kind of ran out here so I could have a bowl because it's been a little crazy uh, today. Even though it's a Sunday and it's supposed to be a day of relaxation. Yeah, no, not so much. <laughs> Go ahead and exhale this stuff through your nose. Smooth as a baby's ass. This stuff, and Perique, Perique blends, usually if you try to blow it out your nose, you get that. That's where you're gonna really feel the, 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 the tingle in the Perique. Very condimental here, you're hardly noticeable at all. Very, very smooth on the retrohale, but you're gonna pick up that honest vanilla burly Virginia blending together right through your nose. That's where your flavor and your taste buds are all connected. So that sensory, that sensory apparatus there is gonna pick up all of those, those nuances, but let it happen on its own. Don't go searching for it, don't force it. Okay, lightly sip this stuff and you'll be happy. Lightly sip this stuff and you won't wanna put it down. Uh, I haven't been able to for two days. So that's my, Quick review on a chilly Sunday afternoon. I thought we were going to be able to stretch this out a little bit longer. Next week is calling for 80 degree weather, but I guess a couple of days and it's going to pour all day. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow and it may even start today. It's horrible and gloomy and oh hell. Anyway, hi to everybody out there that I haven't talked to in a while. I'm not going to try to name you off because I'll miss somebody and piss somebody off and I don't want to do that. Um, so, hi. <laughs> Thanks an awful lot for joining me today, huh? Um, pick yourself up some of this stuff if you haven't already tried it. Listen, if you've already smoked this stuff, if, you're, if you've got any experience with it, uh, pipe up here. I want, I want to hear your, your comments. Um, agree, disagree, whatever. I, I, I'll just be kind of curious to, to see everybody's tastes, all right? So, listen, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, stay dry, stay warm, and uh, all the best. <laughs>